Hey Virgo, welcome back to my channel and thank you so much for being here. Today we're going to be looking into how your person currently feels towards you, how they see you, and also other important insights that the cards want to reveal. This is geared towards the person you have in mind. For cross watchers, the rules can be vice versa. Kindly take the messages here with a grain of salt. Know that the power is yours to make your decisions at the end of the day. I'm only the messenger and I have no power whatsoever with the cards. Thank you so, so much for your support. Also for cross watchers, keep in mind that the rules can be vice versa. Kindly take the messages, how they resonate for you and your specific situation. Thank you so much for your support, Virgo. And without further ado, let's begin. Spirit, we ask for insights and guidance for Virgo and their person. How do they currently feel and see Virgo at this time? How do they truly feel towards Virgo at this time? All right, let's see. First card out is the Judgment card. The Judgment card is the second to the last card in the Major Arcana. This is where we finally purge whatever we've been holding on to, whatever is holding us back. This could be beliefs. This could be energies, relationships situation playing out that's not allowing us to grow and evolve the judgment card is also forgiveness so i feel like virgo you could be in the process of catharsis here letting something go coming towards the light releasing yourself from a stagnant energy embracing your higher calling as well enlightenment and awakening as a result this is also the need to make a judgment call or a final decision on a matter Let's see, how do they feel? We have King of Cups. Some of you are connecting with a water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces. But what you are moving towards here is peace and releasing what no longer is serving you. Now, there could also be a water sign who is desiring to ask for your forgiveness. Let's see. So we have the Ten of Pentacles energy. Virgo, somebody feels like you are also able to reinvent your life, rebuilding a stronger foundation. There's realignment here with Ten of Pentacles. This is a very solid energy. Whatever change happened here with the Judgment card, it's like you have realized all that happened with you, all the decisions that you've made, has all been willed for your inner growth. You're also deciding what to take with you with this new chapter of your life. What you're leaving behind, this could be beliefs, habits, relationship. Bottom of the deck is the world card. So cycle is coming to an end. Cycle is finally over. Your personal growth depends on this change is what I'm seeing here. But whoever this water sign is, like I said, they could want to work things out with you. There is a desire to rebuild a stronger foundation. How do they feel about Virgo? We have Knight of Wands. So it's like you are on fire right now, Virgo. There's nothing that cannot stop this progress that you are doing. I'm also getting that there's a fire sign here who's very passionate towards you. They're passionate towards building something strong with you or a stable connection with you. All right. The Knight of Wands is also the message here is to not make impulsive decisions. Could be that you're not jumping into any commitment with this person. If they're making an offer or asking to reconcile, it's like you're not making any sudden decision. Could be that you've done a lot of inner work here to get to this point of balance and you don't want to disrupt that inner peace that you have going on by making impulsive decisions. So you're being very cautious and mindful. Let's see. We have Four of Swords energy. So for a lot of you, like I said, you're moving towards peace, but I'm also getting this energy of healing. It's like a lot of you want to spend time alone. You need space to come into your own again. Now, on another message, this person that, that wants to reconcile with you, it could seem as though they just reemerge from a period of isolation. This person may have done a lot of thinking, contemplation, and introspection. I also feel like they have done some soul searching here with judgment card and realized something about their past action and behavior, how they have treated you here, Virgo. 
on a shadow aspect, the King of Cups, somebody here may have been very closed off towards you or too critical. This can also mean that they're not um, they're not thinking about how their actions may have hurt you in the past. Somebody here may have been a little bit selfish. All right. So there's been a lot of thinking here with Four of Swords. Somebody's coming out of isolation. They're emerging from being very distant and withdrawn. And now they're coming back around asking to reconcile with you. Let's see, we have the temperance card. So again, you're not making any impulsive decision about the matter. I also feel this energy from you where you're establishing clear boundaries because you don't want to be confused. You're also the type of person where no one is confused when it comes to what you expect of them. Now, temperance and the judgment, I'm also getting maturity. Like somebody wants to mature, somebody wants to grow up, somebody here wants to take responsibility for past reckless actions, Virgo. And I feel like with King of Cups, judgment and temperance, you're somebody very wise, you're somebody very diplomatic, you want to make peace or you want to keep peace in your life, but you also bring out the best in others. Somebody here wants to make things right with you here. Virgo, but you're clearly establishing boundaries, okay? Let's see. We have the Four of Cups energy. So you are also reevaluating this offer being presented. See if this is acceptable to you. You also are the type to cut straight to the heart of an issue, to make appropriate decision and arrive at a just conclusion. So they could be the one who's waiting for your final decision here. Somebody also desires to meet your expectations here, Virgo. Um, like you said, judgment card. It's like they want to make things right, make things better. They know that they have behaved in a way that hurt you in the past. They've been very closed off or selfish is also what I'm getting. Closed off with Four of Cups energy. We have the Ten of Wands here, though. So you're letting a burden go, or for some of you, how you're coming across is, is that you're not that attached to the situation as, as how you were back then. Wheel of Fortune at the bottom of the deck. There is massive change. I also see that once you let go of the attachment here, Virgo, there's really an opportunity to in, reinvent your life, realign, you know? And the Four of Swords is also retreat and reset in order for you to build on a stronger foundation. There were things that happened that were beyond your control, things that you may have seen as unfortunate turnaround of events. But I see here with temperance, you are divinely guided and divinely protected. I see that what, what you have may viewed as unfortunate is after all a blessing in disguise. Um, something opened your eyes to see what's really happening here. Now, whatever this decision you're about to make, it could be changing a relationship status. For some of you, there might even be changes about your career, all right, or travel. I see that as well happening. Or you just not wanting to jump into any commitment. Whatever this change is, it's really kind of going to have an effect on your future, your happiness, and your consciousness. So you could be now deciding what to take with you and what you leave behind, you know? And your personal growth de definitely depends on this change. The Wheel of Fortune is also the past coming back around. So it's kind of like unfinished business. Somebody feels like you both have unfinished business here. And it's like this person wants to talk. This person wants you to take a chance on them again, to open the door of your heart for them again, begin this journey but with the Wheel of Fortune, there's also the element of uncertainty. Let me just clarify the messages over here and see what this is all about. So I apologize for any background noise, Virgo. There's construction around the neighborhood. I hope it does not interfere with your listening. All right, but let's see. Let's clarify some of the cards here. Why is the Judgment card over here? All right, the weight flew out. We have the Chariot in Reverse. Okay, so for a lot of you, this is really a stagnant energy. Something has been stagnant for a while. Or for some of you, the chariot in reverse, again, you don't want to make any 
hasty decisions. But this is also having a strong willpower, Virgo, to make a change, to go with where your intuition is guiding you. Some of you feel like somebody is not very sure of what they're doing. The chariot in reverse can mean reckless behavior. Somebody may have been reckless. Somebody here may have been lacking a sense of direction. Or you have overall felt like this connection has been stagnant. So you don't know if you're willing to gamble, right? The Wheel of Fortune is also taking a chance or gambling on something. You don't know if you can gamble on someone who's not very sure what the sense of direction is. You know, somebody may not quite know what they're actually doing. And so it's very difficult for you to take a leap of faith on something that's uncertain. Okay, let's see. We have the world card. This could also be the need for closure. Like I said, unfinished business, Virgo. This perhaps needs to be settled once and for all. There's a lot of ending cards in your reading. Ten of Wands, the world, judgment. There's also another ten in your reading, which is Ten of Pentacles. But the world is about completion, ending. This is a triumph card. It's not a sad card at all. I don't sense grieving here anymore. This is all about celebrating and welcoming on new priorities, new changes. Setting new goals as well. Feeling excited for what's coming. So for some of you, you're no longer taking a risk on somebody on the past, but you're taking a risk on something new. Opening the door of your heart to begin another journey. You're following your heart and you're leaving fear at the door. So some of you could be with the chariot in reverse. This is also you doubting yourself perhaps. Is this the right choice? Am I ready to move forward and forget this person? But it feels like the cards are saying you only need to take a leap of faith. Even if you are the one who's not quite sure if what you're doing is right. Um, with the temperance, go with where you're being guided. Your growth depends on this decision, on this change. Now, for a lot of you, what you're changing here as well is the way that you overextend yourself or go. If in the past, you may have given so much of yourself over and beyond towards this person or others around you, what's changing here is establishing clear boundaries, all right? And the world card, there's a sense of being free from all that limitation. Previous hardships are already passing. How does this person feel about Virgo? We have Eight of Swords. So somebody feels helpless, you know? They can't do anything to change your mind about things. But also I feel with Eight of Swords, there's a lot of fear surrounding these changes. Eight of Swords as well, this comes after the Seven of Swords. And we all know the Seven of Swords, the heart of that card is about deceit. And the Eight of Swords here is somebody being caught. So it's like, Somebody realize that they no longer have control or power over you because you are releasing the attachment and that you have finally come to a position of power, taking charge and taking control of your life. Bottom of the deck is the Queen of Wands. Very interesting card. And Ace of Wands in reverse with the Tower. High Priestess energy. Wow, Five of Wands. So take the messages, how they resonate for you. But I feel like it was your intuition that guided you to the truth. There was an argument, a fight, or a current flux in the situation with 501. Something wasn't adding up with this person. Or you just feel like overall uncertainty. Like something is not what it seems. Now with the tower, real moment is going to happen or has already happened for some of you to reveal the truth of this person's intentions. Or whatever you feel like they've been keeping from you. Ace of Wands in reverse. This is something failing to launch or you deciding not to take action, not pursuing on it. Uh, because Queen of Wands energy feels like there was somebody else in the picture as well, Virgo. So this could be somebody feeling guilty because they've been caught with something that they've done in the past and the judgment card is seeking out forgiveness. You can forgive this person as a way of liberating yourself with Eight of Swords, although there is fear about this change that you're about to do. But the more that you trust in yourself and your ability to decide, the path becomes more and more clear. All right, let's see. How does this person feel about Virgo? How does this person feel about Virgo? We have the Abundance card. So in the context of this reading, Virgo, somebody feels like you're abundant. You're somebody that's 
very blessed and very gifted. You're somebody that works hard for everything that you have at this time. But also it's like realizing what they lost or what they're about to lose here. Um, somebody realized that they may have been very complacent. Wow, we have rejection card. Some of you are rejecting this person's offer of reconciling. It's like you are focused on you for now. This could be the decision that you're about to arrive. You want to realign and retreat, reset, rebuild on stronger foundations. This is you deciding what to take with you and what you're leaving behind. Beliefs, habits, relationship, what you're not tolerating as well. Okay. Leaving behind the known and going towards the unknown. Don't be afraid of this change. Because your personal growth depends on this change, is what the cards are saying. We have balance. All right, the balance card here is bal um, your mind and your heart both, both operating, so you're not letting your emotions dictate your decisions anymore. The balance card is also you being able to recover. This may have affected you, not only just mentally and emotionally, but also financially for a lot of you. So you have to cut everything that's no longer serving you. Now, I also see here the element of karma. This may not resonate for all, okay? Because I see with Eight of Swords and the Ten of Wands. Now that the scales are being brought back into balance here, Virgo, um, somebody is now facing the consequences of their actions. I don't feel like this is your energy where you're trying to make somebody pay you back for what they've done, but it's just the outcome of their actions. Chariot in reverse. Somebody may have been very selfish or, you know, they did something that was reckless and now they have to face the outcome. Could mean that you're rejecting this person. For some of you, it could also be in the way that their finances are affected now or their health. Rejection, balance, and abundance. And although we do not wish for somebody to be hurt this way, but universe always loves to keep its account balanced. The world card is you here cycling up. A new stage of your life is about to begin. You've been in the down of the wheel of fortune, but now you are cycling up. It's a full circle moment with the world card. There is victory here for you, Virgo. And this could be why somebody's coming in with an apology. They want to find balance here. They want to face the consequences as well. Tower. This person currently feels very chaotic like they're lacking stability overall in their life ace of wands in reverse not, nothing is growing and expanding it was a very stagnant energy so let me just pull an advice card here for you virgo and let's just see what is the final message for you at this time all right so we have service i feel good when i can help others Wow, so it's like you are doing acts of service. You're doing good towards others around you. You are in a position to help others out. You may have felt like you helped this person so much or you've given so much, but all your good deeds are not in vain because I feel like universe is going to bring that blessing tenfold. Virgo, continue to do right by people, by you, um, acting out of integrity, making decisions that are ethic ethically and morally right. Okay, let's see what this card is saying. One of the most evolved gifts that a soul possesses is giving off itself. There is a reason why it feels good to give. It is because your soul resonates with that vibration. Your soul should be aware that it might currently be in a situation in which it needs to be fulfilled on higher levels. And this can only happen through the attribute of humbly serving and supporting others. Put yourself in a position in which you can benefit another soul in any way possible and demonstrate unconditional love towards others this might mean bringing yourself into your heart space and letting everything you involve yourself in come from an attitude of giving freely you have to learn to direct your green heart light energy through all your thoughts actions and deeds look around and see where and how you can serve another perhaps one way would be asking a friend perform an activity that enriches someone else's life so I feel like, Virgo, what this card is saying, this can also resonate for the person. This is all about being selfless. This is all about letting go of selfish ways. 
and doing something bigger than themselves, doing more for others, giving of themselves. Somebody here may have been breadcrumbing you or that the effort being put in in this relationship is not balanced. So you have to reject that kind of treatment. You feel like you've been very generous, giving yourself, going out of your way to help others out. But your deeds are not in vain. The universe is going to repay that good deed tenfold. There is abundance here for you, Virgo. Not just materially, but in all areas of your life, okay? So that's what I'm picking up from your reading. Thank you so much for watching till the end and supporting the channel. I'm sending you love and light. Take care at this time and namaste.